Trump says he had right to interfere in election as Harris, Biden attend first joint campaign event. Trump claimed he has every right to influence in the 2020 presidential race as he seeks re-election. On Sunday night, he told Fox News anchor Mark Levin, whoever heard you get prosecuted for meddling with a presidential election, where you have every right to do it, you get indicted, and your poll numbers go up. Trump made the comments while he confronts a number of legal obstacles, including a new indictment by special counsel Jack Smith in the election subversion case. On Monday, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden will speak at a Labor Day parade in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, marking their first political appearance together since the president left the Democratic ticket in July. As his campaign team grapples with fallout from his controversial Arlington National Cemetery visit last week, the vice president accused Trump of disrespected sacred ground. Team Trump responded with video greetings and a joint statement from Gold Star families who lost loved ones in the Biden administration's Afghanistan drawdown. Key Points Trump claims every right to meddle in 2020 election. First joint campaign event in six weeks for Harris, Biden. Trump shares Gold Star family videos amid Arlington visit controversy. Trump accuses Harris of causing Israeli hostage murders and Afghanistan withdrawal instability. Harris walls, Trump Vance schedule, where are they today? Watch, Biden very close to presenting final Israeli hostage agreement amid one-word punch to Netanyahu, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris seem to approach debate practice differently than their politics. Harris has been hunkering down with loyal and experienced aides, with one even wearing three-inch shoe lifts and an ill-fitting suit to portray Trump. However, the former president is not spending a lot of time prepping for the September 10th ABC News debate, after the murder of six Israeli captives in Rafah, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and the U.S. hostage agreement negotiation team will convene in the White House Situation Room this morning. White House officials say the close-to-press conference will aim to free the remaining 101 Hamas hostages. After a two-week vacation at Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, the president flew back to the White House for Labor Day. The bloodiest single-day attack on Jews since the Holocaust killed U.S. citizen Hirsch Goldberg Pollen, 23, at the Nova Festival on October 7, 2023. Tulsi Gabbard advised Donald Trump on Sunday not to underestimate Kamala Harris in the debate. The former Democrat representative turned Trump loyalist warned on CNN on Sunday ahead of the Harris Trump presidential debate on ABC on September 10. She's experienced, I guess. Gabbard, who has helped the former president prepare for debates, told host Dana Bash that she is important. She added, President Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris have quite different records. Two candidates who have served at the highest offices in the land, President Trump four years as president and Kamala Harris almost four years as vice president, working with President Biden, are exceptional. Donald Trump has accused his Democratic presidential rival Kamala Harris of lying about working at McDonald's in the 1980s while still reeling from his controversial visit to Arlington National Cemetery last week. Since becoming Democratic Party nominee, Harris has frequently cited her brief summer job at the fast food chain while in college. Trump seems to have taken issue with it.